All right, there is a trail just off of the boat ramp, and Stephen from the Crafty Crow Show is going to tell us about it. What do you got, Stephen? Okay. History things I know from all the stuff, and this might be wrong, but this is Martin Fork Lake. Um, it's a dam control lake made for flood control. Up above this lake is Cranks Creek Lake. It was made by the, the county years ago. It's older than this lake for just recreation for the county. That uh, best I can tell, looking at things in old topo maps, the one of the main roads used to run along where that lake is now, <clears throat> and it's back this way. And where it comes down, this would have been the old road that run through here. So the road's, of course, abandoned now. But I know through scouting uh, campouts and things that we went out this road, it wraps around the lake and should head up toward the old lake. So this should be an original road years before this lake and the other lake was built. This was one of the main thoroughfares. Might be wrong. And we are going to hike it a little bit. So depending on how far we go, we'll bring you some footage. Stick around. There's the train track. And if I can remember which cut, if you want to see it, I can show you Hagen Tunnel. It's the longest tunnel on the uh, CV division for CSX. Uh, that's what goes through the mountains of Virginia. Oh, wow. So that's off of this, basically. Uh, it's on back at Smith just a little way. So, yeah, it's off this line here. So this actually kind of goes to the spillway off of Cranks Creek Lake, Should. feeding Martin's Fork. This will take you all the way out to the tunnel. I think. It's been a long time since I've been out here. I know where this is a road, it's easy hike. Be a good beginner trail for anybody in the area that wants a good nice flat surface to hike on and come to the lake for a day. Maybe have a picnic lakeside. The trains still run through here? Yeah, that's the main line right there. So that's the one going into Virginia you was talking about? Yeah, they come up from Harlan and because it's such an increase in the elevation they have a bunch of switchbacks they have to go through <clears throat> once they get to the switchback it's so steep they have to have another set of engines to connect on the other end to push them up wow and um so they've got four engines on the thing instead of just two and i don't know which direction they end up coming from because i don't know where the switchbacks are but i know they'll go this way towards smith and go through that tunnel and that goes straight over into virginia that's and awesome. The tunnel is, I've seen it, it's huge. I mean, it's a humongous opening at the front, and then the other end looks about that big. Oh, wow. I don't know so how long it is, I can't remember right off, but it's a big tunnel. Sounds it. Might have to try to find it one day. That might be a future video, guys. Let us know in the comments. Trail footage and another spider web. I'm glad you're taking care of it. You can thank me later. <laughs> oh another one. Oh it's popping and cracking. Yeah, it got me too. I'm glad you oh, got wait, to... I found the spider. Oh let's see. Yeah, that looks mean man. I'll be fine if it drop on off there. That's... Oh nope nope nope. Alright, put him down. See you little buddy. Later, a big hairy caterpillar too. All kinds of nature out here today. Woodpeckers. Awesome. As long as we don't see the kind that slithers and bites. Yeah. Oh, I feel spider web all over me. <laughs> that one hit the back of my neck. I just about freaked out a little bit. <laughs> I kept my composure for a film. Oh. All right, guys, still hiking through the uh, little old road trail that goes out to the train trestles and all that and the back side of Craig's Creek Lake that Stephen was talking about. We've uh, cleared out most of the spider webs for anybody who wants to come today now and enjoy this hike. We've got it open for you. But we're going to explore around a little bit and take an adventure. All right, guys, hopefully we catch this. There was a fawn that we just jumped off this road. 
And it ran down into the bush here. I don't know if the camera will pick it up. Yeah, I see it. She's staring at us, but she's well camouflaged in there, guys. She is right there. And she ran. Hopefully y'all got that. That's awesome. Onward. All right, just wanted to show you the spillway Stephen was talking about. It's hard to believe that uh, there's a lake above us on the other side of that spillway, and that's what feeds this lake. Yeah, it's what, maybe half a mile or a mile back up through there? Yeah, right at half a mile to a mile. You're, you're right, but that's what feeds this lake. Okay, as we're hiking back out on the loop trail that we found, check this out, guys. Look what I found. Y'all know what that is? That is old man's beard. That's uh, real good to find if you need to start a fire. That's, that'll take a spark off a ferrule rod really well. And then if you have a match, you're definitely going to have fire. You can tell there's plenty of it on this one stick. And that's a good find, so if we were camping or in a survival situation, we'd uh, definitely have fire tonight. Just thought I'd share that with you all. Let's head on down the trail. All right, guys, we're hiking out here on the loop, and uh, we found something kind of special to this area that, that ain't around much more. I'm going to let Stephen tell you about it. Stephen, what we got? So in trying to identify different trees and things and, and trying to learn the the natural world around me it's hard and there's a lot of trees but i do remember these trees when i was little it's the american chestnut tree um they almost went extinct that was i think if i remember out one of the most plentiful trees in north america and there was um, a worm or something uh, kind of like the pine beetles we have now that decimated the chestnut population and I know in Abington, Virginia, I've been to their uh, arboretum, however you say that. Uh, they're trying to grow hybrids to get them going back again and, and find ways to, to get rid of those beetles or those worms, whatever they were. But uh, I know you've heard wormy chestnut, wormy chestnut furniture and stuff because those trees were dying off. That's what they made cabins out of. They made furniture and everything because the wood was so plentiful. And then that wormy chestnut has all those holes and character to it, so they used it, but it, it's gone. Um, somehow on this old road we have stumbled across two chestnut trees and I didn't know how to identify my bark so I probably found more but I do remember especially this time of year around school I went to the uh, the actual chestnuts come in a big it's almost like a baseball size spiky ball we used to throw them at each other when we was little but um, I just looked up and seen them up there and that's the only way I know to identify them, but you just don't find them in the wild anymore. And it's amazing to find two of them. There's another one over here I see that they're living and they've been living a long time. They look, there's some dead branches on that. I don't know how healthy this tree is or not, but it's, for me, it's an amazing find to find the tree actually in the wild, not in, you know, some arboreum or like I said, however you say that word. I don't know, it's cool. can't get over how pretty this little trail actually is. I'd say in and out, what we done would probably be a mile loop, wouldn't you? Back to the uh, boat ramp. Probably. So that ain't bad at all. It might be a little bit more, I don't know. I should have set it on my phone to measure it, but I didn't. Didn't really know what it was when we started in. That's part of a part of being on an adventure. The only part my fat butt got was that little bit of uphill back there. And I'm totally not in shape, so that's the only part I got heavy breathing on. We'll call this an easy trail. Very easy. Very easy. Be safe for kids, too, where it's an old road and it's wide, so you can keep an eye on them in case there was any snakes or anything. So, yeah, if you're ever at Martin's Fourth Lake and you want an easy trail to 
even take kids on. This one's by the boat ramp. Get out and explore, guys. Have an adventure. Mm -hmm.